A wheat grain buried in the dark of the earth appears to be dead. It does not die until it germinates and grows into a plant. What looks and perhaps even feels like death is the process of germination, the start of new life. The seed changes from being dormant into a living, growing plant. The pandemic is perhaps a time when we feel buried in the dark. It may feel like there is no hope. We cannot see the light, the future. The life that we have known is no longer accessible to us. Old ways of working and connecting are no longer possible. Can we trust that if we surrender and allow ourselves to let go of our old plans and certainties, with all the grief and loss that entails, that something new may begin to germinate in the dark? If you think back over your life, you may recognize times when you found yourself in a place of darkness and unknowing and could not see the way through. Perhaps as you look back at those earlier times now, you may be able to see some of the new gifts or blessings that could not have happened had you not been through that time of darkness. Often we emerge from the darkness with deeper wisdom and courage or compassion and the capacity to be present to others in a new way. Perhaps imagine yourself as a seed planted in the ground by God. Allow yourself to surrender into the dark, moist earth. God remains present to you, giving the nourishment of God's nurturing, sustaining presence, even when you may not be able to sense it. When God with delight witnesses the shoot of green that will emerge when the time is right, you will begin to see and feel the light again from a new place of greater fruitfulness. Let's ask today, are there any shoots of green yet? Or are you perhaps still waiting? And what amazing things might God bring to fruition after this time of germination?